Is that what she wants? She should at least know it's an option. Okay, then. I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. You know, she loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her some time. So, what else? Catwoman. I thought she'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a... sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but... give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. We were able to pick up Ms. Fox's trail. She's taken to the rooftops. Good. Stay with her until I tell you otherwise. Word is Tiffany Fox cop to Riddler's murder. Personally, I don't give a damn about what happened to that maniac. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. My people will let you know where to find her. <clears throat> take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. I made it, thinking someday I'd be fighting by your side, not running from you. I was working up the courage to tell you. Joker? He just... guessed it somehow. Said he knows another psychopath when he sees one. It was almost a relief to admit it. I'm sorry you found out that way. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. I wish I hadn't. You put me in a difficult position. I know, I'm sorry, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time. I wasn't thinking about anything except what Riddler did to my family. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness, but I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless, like my life was crumbling around me. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it, but I do understand it. Thank you. 
That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rat if you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. you you're giving me a second chance? Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. I know what you're thinking, but please, hear me out. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore, at least not to me. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. I'll admit that wasn't our finest moment, but at the time it seemed like our best course of action. Precisely my point. Our best judgment is no longer good enough. You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought you did too. Not anymore. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner. But Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. That's a price I'm willing to pay. In war, there are always casualties. But it doesn't mean you give up the fight. I've served in my share of wars, Bruce. More even than you. There are some fights you cannot win. One thing is for certain. My tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. 
This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Don't you see? Your paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I'd been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. You're right, Al. It's who I am. I will always be Batman. And that will...